Hi guys. I'm glad to see you back. I didn't know if I lost you or not. I hope you subscribers are hanging in there with me, being patient. Um, sorry it's been a while, but I just was playing around with my sky um, wig today and I thought of you all. Um, I have a lot of problem with collars rubbing against my nape of my wigs. And um, something I decided to try to do was just to restyle this sky a little bit. And I used a hot iron on the back nape. And I'll just take this off to show you. I heated up my Con Air Instant Heat curling iron. Went to the nape. This is where I put my rating up from one to five, how much I like it and also the style because most of the tags will not have um, the style printed in on the tag, so I write it in permanent marker back there. But as I was talking about, I put a curl going this way with the heating tool after I squirted a little bit of detangles in it. You could use water if you'd rather. Um, but I used detangles thinking it might be softer. Um, so I just used a one inch round curling iron and brought the nape of the neck instead of curling under and rubbing on my collar, it would curl out. See what I mean, how it comes up now? And I'll try it on and turn around and show you. The rest I left as is. And if you're not familiar with Sky, it's a, one of the best sellers and it's affordable, a basic cap. So this is the cap line. And the crown, you can see my little hair sticking out here and there that I've worn her. But I really like this basic style, it's really nice. The nape's probably two inches. I have it curled as I said just a little more than what they intended it to be. I have alopecia, so I have a lot of hair loss. And I don't know if you can see what I have here or not, but a lot of you ladies are going through this. I'm 63 and it's started about three years ago, I'm guessing. And I'm just lining up these ear tabs for you, curling them down just a little bit over my glasses. I just use my fingers, and this is the result of that curl, which I think turned out kind of cute. I hope you guys like it. Um, it's just an alternative to struggling with those hairs along the nape that get tangled and kind of intertwined and almost from friction on your collars, they will tangle and become kind of a nesty, nappy, unfavorable texture that doesn't feel good on your neck. So that's why I did this to this wig. And there's a couple of others that are shorter. I'd like to do the same thing. I don't think it'll work on longer wigs, um, but I'll, I'll keep that in mind in case I can come up with another idea for you, okay, for that. This is just a basic cap, in case you're thinking of the style. And this is one you can tuck if you like. I like to bring some of the little hairs closer to my face down to soften it. And this is one look. Turn around this way, I'm on the couch so I can't swivel really. But I think it's kind of cute and peppy. Gives it a new fresh look. Um, the other way I had it earlier today is tucked kind of swept back on the top and then brought a bigger piece down like this. 
So just play around with it, make it personal to your own style and your own liking. It could be asymmetrical, put one back and one down. You can use a full bang if you want. So it's very versatile and the sizes um, for Norico for me usually run small. The sky runs a little bit bigger, um, but I still get a large because I just feel more comfortable not having any pressure on my head and I'm sensitive. So keep that in mind too, okay? And I'll put the, co the color in the description just in case you're crazy about it. And I think I'll walk, oh, before I do that. Also, um, if you want something more jazzy, same style, but a different product, you can use John Renault Peace Out. And it's like a paste that you wet your finger. I don't have anything to wet my finger and just run it around there inside and just let the heat of your fingers warm it up a little bit. And then you can piece out parts, kind of twist them a little if you want to make it a little messier look. Same with the bang. Just a little water in the paste. I wouldn't use straight paste because it can get clumpy and I'd rather go small and light and then add on to it as I need to. I think that's the best bet. And for even more control that's not um, really piecing it out, but you can piece it out or you can just spray if you have it in the exact position you like to resist. You know, when making it fly around, I like this. Now this I bought as a travel size. So when I went to Florida, I took this. Extra hold hairspray. And this is a number four. Okay, can you see that? And that's just a drugstore brand. It's easy to get. And John Renault, you go online and you can find his um, Peace Out number four. And if you're interested, this is just baby detangling spray for hair. And I wanted to walk out and show you this color in the daylight. So let me do that for you. We have a nice sunny day today, so it should show up pretty good. I'm in shadow with my eyes and sunglasses, but this is the outdoor color. Try to get in the shade a little bit. There you go. In the shade, this is how it looks. You can see my eyeballs that way. <laughs> so have a great day, and I'm glad I got back to you all. I'm going to be doing more videos, maybe not as much as I did before, but I hope you find them valuable. I've been thinking about you, as I told you I would be, doing artwork as well. If anybody needs commissioned paintings, I'm here. Let me know. Love you all. Bye-bye.